Okay, hello everyone. Uh, today I wish to uh, I wish to uh, present my uh, DIY set like Yagi antenna. As you can see behind me, right, right now, and I just want to go through a bit of the background behind this antenna first. Well, back in 2016, uh, one one quite uh, prominent member in in the community here, Roland Turner, actually built his own satellite tracker uh, for the Maker Fair uh, in 2016. So I was so I was interested in hey wait a minute come on. So so it was interesting that someone could uh, actually communicate with satellites and and all and do all that kind of stuff with very little equipment. You don't need specialized equipment like low noise amplifiers or all that to, to even talk to uh, low earth orbiting satellites. So since there are so many amateur radio satellites out there, I really wanted to just try working one. And for my build, here, is, here are some of the goals. First, I can only use easy to obtain parts. No 3D printed uh, pieces, parts, nothing of the sort. And also, it's supposed to be easy to keep and store and relatively easy to assemble. But before I go into the build itself, I just want to cover some antenna theory. Just very basic antenna theory. An antenna is a device that uh, radiates radio waves into free space. And the movement of alternating current at radio frequency generates an electromagnetic wave. In a dipole antenna, most of the energy is actually radiated broadside to the antenna. So if you look, if you actually see, if, if that line there is a dipole antenna, uh, like this, most energy will be radiated broadside to it, so forward and be behind the antenna itself. That's what I mean by broadside. So, and if you were to look from the top, you have a top view looking down, the antenna will appear to radiate like that in all, direct, in all directions. In the year 1926, professors uh, Yagi and Buddha, they invented a new kind of antenna, actually is as shown there. And they found that by putting parasitic elements in front and behind of a dipole antenna, an antenna can actually achieve higher gain. So you can see that each of the elements uh, correspond to a different color. And, what, and the, red, uh, the red element you see in the picture is actually the dipole antenna. The blue element, which is the director, actually uh, directs the radio waves in a certain direction, and the reflector, which is behind, in light blue, uh, reflects the wave in, the, in a very specific direction. All in all, you can see that the, the combination of the, direction, of the director and the reflector uh, gives you a wave of a larger amplitude in a specific direction that is, that is shown in the green color wave. And behind the antenna, there will be still some radiation, but not as large as the, as the radiation pattern going in front of that antenna. And as I just mentioned, uh, okay, give me a moment. So, and, and I mentioned the, the parasitic elements that are installed in this antenna called the Yagi Uda antenna it are just the director elements, the reflector elements, and of course the driven element, which is just the dipole. In fact, this whole thing here is just a dipole, uh, it's just a dipole element. And as you, may, as you are able to see, they are not electrically connected. The presence of each element. In, in front and behind this driven element changes the radiation pattern of this dipole. And that, and that is what you see. In front you can see that the radiation pattern is a very sharp beam in front of the antenna, in front, in this direction. So, so yes, this, ante this antenna design is now known as Yagi Uda antenna, uh, or commonly known as just a Yagi antenna, uh, simply because uh, Professor Yagi at the time, he actually patented this uh, design and for some reason, uh, Dr. Uda's name was left out. And nowadays, m most people know it's just a Yagi antenna. So, the, so now on to the build. First thing we do is that we model the antenna using the NMANA software. As you can see, all my uh, elements of my antenna are there. And, I, and on the left, you can see a 3D far field uh, plot of the radiation pattern, of the antenna's radiation pattern. And as for the bit itself, I wanted the design to be something like this, where, like what Roland antenna, uh, Roland's 
using he's using an arrow and panel in that in which the elements can actually be be uh, disassembled and kept into a very small package. So the build is exactly made of two sections of PVC pipe, like this, connected by a key joint. The assembly is now a tripod, and each antenna element is actually made out of commonly uh, found ribs that you can just buy off Slim or some or some other place. You can even find it as junk if you have that many. And this, and of course, you can see this is the build itself when I was building at home. And this is the antenna measurement. There's a there's a low V low VSW outstanding wave ratio on VHF for just uh, for clarity's sake. The, the amount the, the measurement of VSW the standing wave ratio measures the the ratio of the forward power it, that's going to the transmitter and the reflected power back to the trans, back to the transmitter. So if your antenna is not matched for that particular operating frequency, there'll be a lot of uh, at, uh, RF power that'll be reflected back. And that and that reflected power will actually just bump, reflect for back and forth, back and forth until it's dissipated as heat. And you, so you can see on VHF, which is actually what I designed it for, for now, there, there's a low as we are 1.2 to 1. Then the lowest is 1 to 1, by the way. And on UHF band, which is also one of the bands I wish to target, but I haven't installed elements yet, the SWR is actually 2.3 to 1. And one of the goals, as I said just now, is to, to make my antenna easily uh, packable in a sense. So this is how the thing collapses into. And I took, I took it out to test. I actually went to HDB uh, block uh, for it was 47 floors high. And this uh, this antenna deployed there. And I actually made con I made contact 9.56 km away using only one watt of transmit power, of RF transmit power. And yes. <laughs> Okay, uh, is there sound? Is there sound available? High voltage. True that. <laughs> okay, so this is the the video is. So in this in this video that you're seeing, somebody is actually at Arnold Hill Park and he's receiving my transmission uh, from the HDB block uh, where I was at at Dawson Road, which is actually quite close to Queen's Park. And uh, yeah, so there's one uh, example of reception. But now the thing is, what about satellites? I did mention that this is supposed to be uh, a satellite antenna. So, so where are the satellites? Just before I came, actually, I, I went hunting for satellites. And this is the this is the setup out in the out in the field. And you can see my laptop there and all that. And and this is all you need. Of course, I prefer a better a, a better way to actually look at my laptop while I'm doing all this. But, but yeah, this is all you all you really need. And what we use is the G Predict uh, satellite tracking software to track the paths of each satellite uh, that, that I target. And I actually did manage to receive a very very brief uh, transmission on the on the SO50 satellite, which you can hear. Sorry for shaky video. It, it was it was actually quite brief. The I I had to manage uh, pointing this and anten this antenna to towards the satellite, and we I did manage to get a really really brief uh, 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 clip of the reception, but I lost the the satellite uh, right uh, right af after that. So I apologize if I can't really show too much of a of a reception. And well, what now? I wish to add UHF elements 
to, to this antenna, as you can only as you can see, there are only VHF elements here. The UHF elements, if I want to operate at higher frequency, I have to install uh, much shorter elements on this antenna, but they are not they are not uh, installed right now. And I wish to build a antenna rotator or source if I can, if I can do it an antenna. Depends on how I can get the uh, antenna rotator onto this uh, tripod at, at all. Uh, anyways, I'm done. Thank you.